What's up guys, welcome to another Stock Indicators and Mathematics within Python tutorial video. In the last video we were calculating the center of gravity, now it's actually plotted up on that chart. If you don't have the data for the chart, the link is in the description that will take you to this page here. Uh, if you scroll down, this is where the code is, so literally just uh, highlight it all, come all the way down to the bottom, do a nice copy, and paste it right in. Now, I did make a little spot for us to put all the code, which will be right here. So all you have to really do at this point is go back to where we were coding the script just now and go ahead and comment out cog or delete that one right there. Uh, and then all you want to do is just highlight the definition of cog, go all the way down to the bottom, even where it calls uh, to cog to run. Take that, go over to the new script, paste it in, and then fix the indentation. So we'll go back up. And it should be indent, indent, which is just hitting the tab key in case you didn't know. Um, so now we've done that. We call cog uh, here. And all we really need to do to put it into the graph is uh, the following. So we're just going to go ahead and say um, cog dates. And then we'll just say cogs equals that. Then all we really need to do from here is ax2.plot and we plot cog dates and then minus sp, that's just the starting point. If you want to know more about that, watch uh, the actual charting tutorial series. Uh, you can find that in my channel. Uh, cogs minus sp colon and then finally we're going to make that line uh, white. So that should be it. We should be able to run that now and get uh, the uh, center of gravity. So let's plot up eBay and just see that we got it. Okay, so sure enough, here's eBay uh, with the center of gravity. I'm trying to think of another stock that we could do. I just love how like well it called it there. I mean, there was not too much here. Um, you know, it's been high, I suppose, and now it's slumping down. But I'm trying to think of a good one to run here. Um, let's try Ford. We haven't actually looked at Ford in any of the uh, videos. Yeah, Ford did pretty good too in the center here um, as far as predicting that uptrend pretty nice anyway uh, so that's going to conclude the center of gravity tutorial series hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you learned something as always thanks for watching thanks for the support and the subscriptions and until next time